Okay, how's everybody doing? So it was a nice little break that I had and I uh, didn't really do much in the way of any work on the layout. But uh, I didn't, I you know, I didn't go long uh, without being sucked in or pulled into the layout because who wouldn't be? Um, you know, the shelf layout is awesome. You know, it really is. Like, I think it's a genre that um, people don't, that 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 don't understand it might you know might get it later on like i'm talking about people that haven't really fully committed to the hobby like because they're they've tried layouts they've tried the circular thing they've you know they've put a lot of energy and effort into building a layout that just haven't been satisfied and you know i've been down that road right and you know, when you look at this layout right now that this like this span that you see just right here in the aperture of the camera from the overpass here down to where the pass look was is only six feet right and i think that if you focus in on the layout and just put a lot of um, passion and detail into signature scenes that you love you know that maybe you photograph or that you remember or want to recreate um, it doesn't matter the size of the layout it really doesn't because operations are relative like if you have 500 feet of track then you want to run trains for 500 feet right and then once you run them for 500 feet you get tired of it like you just uh you know you want to add another turnout uh you want to add another loop another level you just keep chasing that rabbit down the hole and it just ends up being a trap and you end up uh being overwhelmed and then anxiety comes in and you lose your creative spirit you lose your momentum you know i mean i think people are familiar with what i'm saying you know that have been in this hobby long enough and i've been in it a long time since i was a kid right so over 50 years so uh you know yes i had the the pleasures of being a model maker and so on professionally and etc cetera, etc cetera, and museum work and stuff but Model railroading was still a separate thing for me, like my own model railroad. I was always building something for somebody else, never for me. And so now I am, right? And like for me, like operations might just be pulling two or three cars off of off a ferry or shoving an a acid car down to a lone industry somewhere or flipping out a few box cars. Like that'll take me like half an hour. You know, like as a lone wolf, I mean, like as an individual, right? And everybody wants that. Like, like shelf layouts are perfect for the lone wolf or individual. Like you can be part of a club or an association, but it's nice to have your own little layout, wouldn't you say? And that way you can express you in your layout. Like you're not just contributing. And I've done it before. I've contributed to club layouts over the years, you know, and built, built structures, built trees, done terrain but you know it's 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 long gone it's not mine it's in somebody else's possession you know so the shelf layout lends itself beautifully to uh building your own little railroad even if it's a, a class one two or three it doesn't really matter if you th if you really plan it through you know like like paint a, a model weather like like build some trees build some structures and take your time with the plan. Read all that you can, like read everything on all the, you know, the veterans in the hobby that, you know, like SIG and stuff like that. And NMRA, there's people around that'll, there's really good wisdom there, right? And they try to explain this, this kind of thing. And that the satisfaction that you glean from it has nothing to do with the size of the railroad. It's a big, big, big fat zero. Right. Because I've done it like I've built big layouts for other clients, ran them, you know, tested them, ran them. So what? Right. But until you build your own layout and most notably a shelf layout like this, where you, where you won't get anxious about it, like all your energy and passion and creativity that you put into it will eventually uh, amount to something really cool. Right. And you'll still be able to serve all your interests like uh you know, like you name it, right? Laying track, weathering, running trains, scratch building, kit building, electronics, DCC, right? It goes on and on, but it's not uh, uh, exclusive to a large layout, right? So uh, I just wanted to share that with you. And then um, 
you know, continue on. Like I, like, uh, I took a little bit of a break, as most of you know, which was well needed because I've been working on this layout now for, oh, I don't know, a year and a half or, you know, maybe two, I think. And uh, now I feel real, you know, like re-energized, you know, like just stepping away from it for a while and looking at it from another angle. You know that I could photograph like this whole layout will be like 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 in the physical material sense will be 26 feet long by, you know, roughly two feet deep. Right. With like a horseshoe shape. With the interchange uh, on the barge slip. Right. Which I'm going to show you. OK. Just a couple clips. And then over this way where this grain elevator will be going, just put it here for a stand in for now. Uh, that'll run off where I can do uh, an interchange there as well, or just off layout staging, right? So people that are into the shelf layout genre that are, I, I find some of the best modelers are in this particular genre. And that's not to diss people with big layouts that are, you know, master modelers. That's, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying if you want to master this hobby, what do you need to build a big layout for? That doesn't make you a master, right? If you build a small layout, you can touch every aspect of the hobby and master all the skills and all the subject matter and have something to show for it. OK, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you just a little bit of a, a uh, just a couple of runs of how I see the railroad, how I feel it and how I experience River Road uh, when I operate and work on it. OK. Wow. Oh. 